Okay, a couple of hours have passed. I've been a little bit busy, but I got it. Uh, yeah, as you saw in the first part of this video, the it appeared to work, and then it came up with some odd information on the alpha display. Pause continue or something. I think that's part of the test menu or something. But anyway, yeah, you can see we've got a part socketed there, and well, the issue with this board is actually the corrosion. I saw in the video it worked for about five seconds, but this corrosion down here is something else. I'll, I'll need to. I haven't got a can IP at the minute. I'll run out, but I need to get rid of this. That's the worst corrosion I've seen for a while. There's a big mountain of crud there. Um, the RAM was dead and, well, it worked for about four seconds and gave up the ghost. 6264 Hyundai. Quite. Um, but I rolled out a couple of other things first. I checked for the usual. I checked. Buzz this out, buzz this out, including all the encrypted lines. I cut power pin to the PAL over here because sometimes that can stop things booting and cause weird things to happen because it can jam the data bus. But yeah, when I took their when I took the ROM out not the ROM card, but just the ROM, took the ROM out and then ran it with no ROM in the board, no program. I was seeing some weird things on my Logic Pro. My Logic Pro was just sounding a bit sick trying to read this. So cut it out and the pins and pads underneath are horrendous. I mean, the battery been leaking under there for quite a while. You can see I have a number of wire links underneath. Now this is only a temporary one. This is just a bit of wire I had. This is the power trace. This is the ground rail from the RAM. I've just tied it across here. But my worry is that this is going across to the lamp multiplexer. So it could possibly cause issues there. So this will have to be fixed a bit better. Maybe I need to try the trace on top of the board. or put a big heavy bit of Teflon wire there or something. But yeah, you can see some wire links under here. These are replacing... The contacts that just went there from all the damaged pads I means nothing you could do. The, the pads were just destroyed, they were gone. You get that sometimes when you're repairing a board that's been sitting for a while, but they'll need to be they'll need to be glued over to make sure they stay where they are. Uh, also uh, these resistors here have been smoking for a while, so I would investigate lamp issues with the board before you run it long term. Quite a fun night, this. I mean, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I enjoy stuff like this, so. Yeah, I'll pull the popper! There you go. It's after one in the morning, so we ain't having the sound on. But it will work. Quite confident it'll work. You won't get much of the way digital sound out, I don't think, with all those bad traces there. There you go. Doctor Who sound ROM there, which is quite handy because I burned a Doctor Who ROM. Might just leave you with that Doctor Who ROM, maybe. Then be a ready made board to shove in a machine. But yeah, turn it off. Ooh, just hurt my neck there as well. So, yeah, that's two for two. Well, it's one and a half for two, if I'm honest, because it go. I mean, you can just. You can see that in the camera, the huge pile of crud there. To do a proper job of this, I'm going to leave it up to you to decide where you keep this as just a backup board, whatever. To do a proper job of this, 
all this from here all the way over would have to come off because well from uh, not as far as that but everything here probably including the, there'll probably even be corrosion under the socket because what happens is the vapor that it's not part of leakage in the sense that it drips it's a gas and it, vap it vaporizes and then spreads across the whole board now you saw the ramp socket was um, I don't video or photograph what I found underneath there but yeah it was pretty bad you can see there's some discoloration here as well I mean the board works I can prove that it works but it's going to need it's going to need quite extensive repairs this one so what I'd recommend you do is you keep this one as a spares board and then that one over there which is in much better condition will get fixed up and patched up and then it will be running I mean it's running the nib in you could probably plug it straight in but yes Faults have been diagnosed, corrected, this one also runs just by taking the reset off and closing down the VMM line. So I know it'll run the machine. Right. As I said before, I don't know if the reels are working in pairs, well, pairs won't work at the minute. Because that pin's cut, but I'll patch that pin back. And yeah, we'll need to do something better with the ground drill. So we're not causing a interference sort of thing between here and here. But yeah, it's all working. It's um been fun. See you in the next one.